The worst mistake of Ladybug is not that I am trying to make you hate Ladybug because of this mistake that I will tell you soon, but it seems that Ladybug never learns from her mistakes. Like in the case of the heroine choosing to permanently hand over the miraculous to their previous holders at the end of the episode recreation. Seriously, Marinette? And I know the baker came to this point with the idea that it's safer for everyone if the miraculous are separated, but no, right? You must have noticed that some of Blue's friends are not very secretive or careful, like Nino, who not only can't keep a secret very well but is also a bit impulsive in both his actions and ideas. For example, when he revealed to his friend Adrian that he was carapace just because he suspected something about Alia. Or when he had the brilliant idea of throwing food at Gabriel to see how accumulation worked. Genius move, right? Not. Besides, they managed to be followed by Lila without even realizing it. Imagine if they were talking about something more important, it would be dangerous. Another example of a prodigy boy is the not-so-wonderful Kim. The boy doesn't care about anything other than himself. Although Monkey King's miraculous suits his pranks and nonsense, Kim is nothing responsible when it comes to being a meticulous, clever hero, always taking great care to keep his secret identity. They didn't even realize that Lila Rossi was a big liar right from the start. She could easily manipulate or even blackmail the heroes to steal their miraculous. Knowing Rose well, she would do anything to make a new student feel welcome, even declaring herself a hero. The girl has no malice in her heart, so it would be too easy for Lila to manipulate Rose to get what she wants. Now, this isn't even the biggest problem, given that Ladybug permanently handed over the miraculous to emotionally stable people like Jalika. The goth girl has transformed several times into Reflectol. It's easy to lose count. Considering this, imagine if one of these holders ended up being acumatized, like the case of Queen Bee, who let herself be carried away by anger at being rejected by Ladybug. This opened a breach in her mind for Hawk Moth. Imagine if we had a villainous purple tigress, her power would be quite destructive, causing a lot of trouble for Ladybug and Cat Noir. And before someone comments below about the magical charms of Ladybug, don't worry, I didn't forget them. The truth is that for these charms to create that protective barrier against Akumas, a lot of willpower is needed, as seen with Mr. Damocles. However, this magical protection that prevents the evil butterflies from working won't function if the person is alone. There wouldn't be anyone by their side to encourage them to resist the Akuma, as seen with Jalika in Remorse. Even though she got her charm at the end of that episode, there is no guarantee that she will have the willpower against the Akuma alone. Talking about Chloe, do you remember that when she was acumatized into Queen Wasp, she was conscious? With full awareness of what she was doing in the Battle of the Miraculous, we see the acumatized using the power of the sting to paralyze all Parisians, commanding them. Then she orders the heroes to reveal their identities, exposing Kim as Monkey King, Alia as Rina Rouge, Luca as Viperion, and so on. They were lucky that the blonde didn't use this precious information against them, or worse, if she had told this secret to Lila. So many possibilities of mischief and evil that the brunette could commit against the teenagers. And let's not forget Felix. The boy has already shown us that he is a two-faced person who knows how to manipulate people as well as Lila. I'm surprised the heroine trusted him so quickly. Yes, I know Ladybug did not hand over the peacock miraculous to Felix, he took it from Gabriel. However, if she didn't trust him, she would have taken the miraculous back, just like she took the bee miraculous from Chloe. So, Ladybug, for some reason, trusted Felix to be the new holder of the peacock miraculous. Let's face it, not everyone who is bad will really become good from one moment to another. I doubt Felix's reaction that he wanted to help the heroes, it's quite suspicious. Considering that he detests all humans for thinking they are always in control, as seen in the episode Emotion, suddenly, we see his redemption. Surely there's something fishy going on, and Felix must be plotting something. Maybe he plans to steal Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous to achieve ultimate power and transform into a real human, so he never has to be controlled again. We can't be sure about the blonde's true intentions, but it's good to keep an eye on him just in case. So, do you really think Ladybug made a mistake by permanently handing over the miraculous to their previous holders? Write it down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.